Well, good afternoon, everybody. How you all doing out there? That's good. Well, for those of you who would like to learn how to play the guitar, I'm going to show you the very basic, simple ways that I know how to do it. And hopefully it's not too boring for you. Because sometimes I can get a little long-winded, like my dad. So without further ado, on with the shoe. I basically taught myself how to play the guitar. Not too many people can do that. I started in 1995 on a toy plastic guitar. Nothing more than a little kid's guitar with, you know, four or five strings on it and the thing wouldn't even stay in tune. <laughs> but that's what I started out with. My dad showed me a few chords on the guitar, but I basically learned from guitar teaching videos and our good friend Ray Greenwood showed me a lot on the guitar throughout the years. He's a very good friend of ours, as well as a very good mentor to the family. Anyways, we're going to do the basic chords right now. I hope you all enjoy them. The chords will be G and C. Let's get a close-up look and show you how to do those chords. This is the key of G7. First, basically, you put your first finger on the high E string on the first fret. Then you put your middle finger on the A string on the second fret. And the last finger on the low E string third fret. This is a G seventh chord, not a G major. Now the key of G is the same thing, only with this finger. But we'll go on the next video for that chord. Now we're going to do the key of G major chord. G major, not G seventh. G as in gorgeous. For all the beautiful ladies out there in the audience. Okay. Basically, it's the same chord structure as I showed you in the first video. The only difference is you're not putting your finger here. You're putting your little pinky finger on the third, no, on the first high E string, third fret. And you put your middle finger on the A string, second fret ring finger on the low E string third fret. This is the key of G. My favorite key on the guitar. Now we're going to move on to some different chords. The next chord we're going to do is the key of D. D major. You put your first finger on the high E string second fret. You put your middle finger on the G string second fret. Then you put your ring finger on the B string 
third fret. This is the key of D, as in dog. Most people that play guitar should know that chord. Key of D. Okay, I'll stop now. Uh, we'll move on to some different chords now. Now we're going to show you how to play the key of A chord. You put your first finger on the B string second fret. Middle finger on the G string, 2nd fret, all on the 2nd fret. And then your ring finger on the D string, 2nd fret. This is the key of A. This is the simplest chord on the guitar in the world. It's the key of A. Now, there's another way of doing A, and I can't really do it that good. Rusty Chapman uh, can do it, but you... Uh, you bar these three like this, and you put your mid, uh, last finger on the fifth fret, it should sound like this. Or you can do it like this too. It's a bluegrass style A, but it all sounds the same. Now we're going to move on to the key of F and B seventh chords. This is going to be the key of F chord. This is the one that my father could never, ever do. No matter how hard he tried. That and the B chord, which we'll get to later. But first, this is the key of F. Now, first of all, the way you hold the guitar is like this. You know, not too tight. Your thumb over the neck. You know. Uh, anyways, you put your index finger bar in these two strings, first and second, B and high E. That's the start of the F chord. You put your middle finger on the G string on the second fret. Ring, uh, ring finger on the... Third fret, D string. And your last finger goes on the A string, third fret. And your thumb, if you can reach it, goes on top on the first low E string, first fret. And this, my friends, is the F chord. Practice makes perfect. Now we'll move on to some other chords and whatever. What I'm going to show you is the B7 chord or the B chord. Basically, this is the position. You put your first finger on the D string first fret, middle finger on the A string second fret, ring finger on the G string second fret, and your pinky small finger on the high E string on the second fret, right here. And this is a B seventh chord. Simple. Now, this is good. this is a cheater's B. This is B seventh. If you play B down here, same thing. Only it's the key of F position. See it? Just a little trick to that. 
Now we're going to move on to some other chords and we'll do some bluegrass picking for y'all. Hope you enjoy it. You remember the G chord that I just showed you? Well, here's another G, only in the F position. This is the third fret. You bar these two strings here, high E and B string on the third fret. Your middle finger on the G string, fourth fret. Your ring finger on the fourth fret D string. And your last finger on the 4th fret A string and your thumb covering the low E string 3rd fret. This is the key of G as well. You can use a capo which I'll show you later, that's going to be confusing, but this is the key of G as well, as in gorgeous. Now, not all songs I can do in G. I know how beautiful you are, I wrote. That one's in G, and uh, Oreo Cookie Song is in the key of A. We'll do those later on. They're already on YouTube anyways, but you know, I like to go over some songs that I know and so forth. The first thing you want to do on the guitar before you start doing any of these chords or anything I showed you is to tune your instrument with a guitar tuner. Basically a little com contraction like this. All digital. This I got for $23.99 in the casino. 10% discount. Not too bad. Go to FYE in the mall. It's $19.99. Pretty darn cheap. Basically, how it works is this. Two ways of tuning your guitar. Pitch pipe, built in. But first, we're going to do it with the meter. Now, a pitch pipe is basically a little mouth piece, or this tuner has one built in with the cords in it and so forth. I'm going to show you the pitch pipe way of tuning, which will probably be the easiest for those of you who don't know how to read the meter. Basically very simple. If it's in the green, it's right on. If it's in the red, it's too flat. And if it's in the yellow, it's too high. I usually leave mine in a little bit in the yellow, not too much. Here it goes. Give C. This is the tone of the tuning to make sure it's in tone. Sounds like it's in tune to me. My B string is a little flat, so I'm going to adjust it. That's how you tune a guitar. Now, if you're not sure 
how to do it that way, you can do it like this as well. guitar to play. Very important to tune your guitar. When my dad was playing when I was younger, he would always have that guitar out of tune, you know, and he didn't know how to tune it and he didn't know how to play it. I just gave up showing him, you know. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> now we're going to go on to some melodies now of songs. Thank you.